Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and today's weather hazard briefing is for Tuesday, September 7th. Record high temperatures are expected midweek with a pattern change Friday. I'll be going over some of those details with you today. Some key points we're going to focus on. Dry and smoky conditions are going to continue through the week, especially through Friday, with critical fire weather conditions possible Wednesday. Be very low relative humidities and gusty winds associated, so possible red flag criteria, and we'll keep you updated on that as that day gets a little bit closer. Above normal temperatures are expected midweek, with record-setting temperatures across the board, especially at our valley locations. So taking a look as far as that very large upper-level ridge currently centered over Nevada, bringing a lot of dry and very warm air to the region. So as far as expecting that regime to last through the remainder of the week, but a pattern change is expected Friday through the weekend, which is going to be bringing with it the increased precipitation chances with cooler, more seasonable temperatures. Here's a look at our current satellite loop from this morning. Mainly looking in western Idaho this morning, we were just seeing some upper-level clouds. And out in the northern Pacific, there's a little bit of a large plume of moisture that will be interacting with our region towards the later part of this week. Here's a look at our weather and impacts outlook matrix. Main concerns to start off the week for Tuesday, smoke and low humidity conditions are expected. So low relative humidity is going to be carrying through the rest of the week, especially through Friday. And then towards Wednesday, like we had said, as far as the gusty winds, especially in our mountainous locations up in the central mountains. And then towards Thursday, that will bring in the heat especially, and coupled with Wednesday. And then towards Friday, those increased isolated thunderstorm chances are possible in our mountainous locations with possible relief from smoke, especially across the Snake Plain and Magic Valley, towards the end of the week to start off your Saturday. Looking at our current watches, warnings, and advisories, not a whole lot to talk about. We had a red flag warning yesterday that did expire. We'll be keeping a close eye for Wednesday if any products do need to be issued. Here's a look at our HER smoke forecast. Mainly predominant southwest flow in the region is going to be bringing a lot of that western wildfire smoke into the area. And we do have a lot more fire activity, especially in the central mountains this time of year. So as far as providing a lot more smoke, especially in those areas. So as far as seeing some relief, the central mountains might still be inundated with a little bit more smoke throughout the weekend. As that possible clearing might just be for the southeast corner of the state, but more towards our northwest region of the forecast area, a little bit more smoke lingering on. Here's a look for your high temperatures. As far as today, it's going to be across the board in the mid 80s to low 90s. And very dry conditions are expected with minimum relative humidities in the low teens across the board. For Wednesday, this is that first day of the intense heat that's going to be moving through the area. So as far as temperatures tomorrow, it's going to be in the mid to upper 90s, especially at our western locations. And there is a small trough that's going to be moving through western Canada, which is going to be bringing with it some gusty winds, especially in the central mountains. So coupled with those gusty winds and really low relative humidities, be keeping an eye on that for any fire weather concerns. And talking about those record high temperatures, here's a look at some of our climate site locations and what their current records are set at. And taking a look as far as what the forecast is going to be, we are tying and breaking a few records with our current forecasted temperatures for tomorrow and Thursday. We'll be keeping a close eye on that and see how we perform for any record setting events. Here's a look at your Thursday and Friday. Thursday, a lot of that continued heat, maybe a few degrees cooler, temperatures and still in the upper 80s to low 90s. For Friday, things cool off by about 10 degrees. So we're looking at temperatures across the board in the upper 70s to low 80s. And towards Saturday, temperatures again, maybe just cooling off by a few degrees from Friday, but in the upper 70s to low 80s. And here's a quick look at some of the preliminary rainfall amounts. This is just a general idea for the weekend as far as maybe where some of those showers are going to be setting up. So especially in our mountainous locations, maybe just some isolated chances for some thunderstorms. And as we get closer to this date, we'll be able to kind of fine tune as far as where that precipitation chances best are and kind of talk about more of the isolated severe risk possible towards the Friday time frame. And that about wraps up today's briefing, so just taking a quick look back here at our summary. Dry and smoky conditions are going to continue, and for Wednesday, some critical fire weather conditions possible. We'll be keeping a close eye on the relative humidity and wind gusts, especially in the central mountains. 
and above normal temperatures are expected for midweek. Have some possible record setting events, so we'll be keeping a close eye on that, but very warm for Wednesday and Thursday of this week. A pattern change is expected Friday through the weekend. So what that means for our area is going to be that increased precipitation chances, especially in our mountains. So we have some isolated thunderstorm chances and some cooler, more seasonable temperatures, you know, cooling down by about 10 to 15 degrees through the weekend. And that about wraps up today's weather briefing. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to contact us at our email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Hope you guys have a great day.